One of the most popular trends in web design these days are gradients, and for good reason. Essentially, a gradient is just a blend of two or more colors, but it can add some serious depth, dimension, and overall visual appeal to your website. And if you're using Framer to build your website, you can even take your gradients to that next level. So instead of boring static gradients, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can create beautiful animated gradients, just like this directly inside Framer with just a few clicks and without a single line of code. All you need to get started is a free Framer account and I've put a link in the description below in case you don't already have one. So without further ado, my name's Hamza and let's get into it. Right, so for this example, I'm going to be working with this demo landing page that I put together for my brand new background pack called Silk. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is that we're going to need to go and grab the gradient component, which you can get using the remix link in the description below. Okay, so once you open up the remix link, you're going to be on a page that looks like this. All you want to do is you want to head over to the top left corner where it says layers, expand desktop, expand gradient blur, and then we want to right click and copy this component that's called gradients. Then let's head back to our landing page. And for this example, I want the gradient to be behind our content and I want it to cover the entire section like in the example that I showed you. So let's start by pasting the component inside of our hero section like that. And then as you can see, what that does is that will paste the component underneath our content. But at the minute, it just looks like a bunch of shapes. So the first thing that we want to do is that we want to go ahead and create that gradient effect. So to do that, what we want to do in the left hand side, we want to right click on the component and we want to click on add frame. And then let's rename this frame to gradient. Then with the frame highlighted, we want to head over to the right hand side where it says styles. And we want to click on the add button. And then we want to click filters and we want to click on blur. Then we want to come down to where it says blur and the value is set to five and we want to set that to 60. Now, don't go crazy with this number. Anything above 60, in my opinion, will really start to slow down your site. So I recommend just staying at 60. And then as you can see, that creates this really smooth gradient effect. Next, as you can see, the actual gradient is underneath our content, but we want it to be behind our content. So let's go ahead and do that. With the frame selected again, we want to come over to the top right hand corner where it says position and we want to change the positioning to absolute. That's then going to bring it on top of our content. So before we move any further, let's pin this to the middle so the gradient always stays in the middle and let's center horizontally and vertically. And now to place it behind our content, let's move this entire frame above our content and then let's come down to the Z index and change it to zero. And then as you can see, that goes behind all of our content. And just like that already, we have a really beautiful gradient behind our hero section. But Let's customize it a little to fit the aesthetic of our landing page a little bit more. Let's click on the gradient component again. And then on the right hand side, if we scroll down, you're going to see all of the settings for the gradient. Now, there are a lot of different settings and I'm not going to go through all of them, but you're welcome to go through and mess with them at your own leisure. I'm going to be showing you the most important settings that I think you'll find most helpful. Starting with colors, we've all got different colors for our products, for our brand, for our website. So this is probably going to be the first thing that you're going to want to change. It's super easy for us to add new colors to the gradient. You can just come down here and you can click on add and you can add and pretty much as many colors as you like. So for this example, let's start by removing all the colors and let's add three colors that fit this product. So let's start with the first one. We'll click on add and we'll use this little dropper tool and we'll choose maybe this, maybe this orange. And then we'll go back and let's add another one again with the dropper tool. Maybe we'll come and add this pinky color and we'll come back and we'll click add again. Again with the dropper tool and maybe we'll add a slightly purplish pink, just like that. And already this is looking so much better and it fits the aesthetic of the page so much more. Next, let's change the movement of the gradient because the gradient is moving a little bit too fast for me. So for us to do that, let's head back to the gradient component and let's go down to the settings and then let's go down to move. And then underneath move, you're gonna see a setting called speed and that's gonna be by default set to five. So let's change that to one. And already look at that, it's looking so much smoother. And then finally, let's say that I just wanted the gradient to be bigger in general and I wanted it to cover up more of the hero section. So let's head back to the gradient component and let's go down to size. And by default it's set to 155, but again, you can tweak this, but don't go crazy with this because the bigger you make it, the more it's gonna slow down your site. So 155 is kind of the sweet spot, but for the sake of this example, let's ship that up to 500. And look, for example, like you can see how much of the hero section it can take up. And if you were to expand it, that does take up quite a lot more space. But for now, we'll change that back to 
155 because I quite like it at that. And like I said, you can go through and play with all of these other settings to see what they do. But I just wanted to show you how you can add a beautiful animated gradient to your website within just a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'm really looking forward to seeing how you use these gradients on your website. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value whatsoever, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. And if you're interested in more content just like this, please consider subscribing. And until next time, have a good one.